in Fusion, there's this really cool option to create a model directly from a logo like in Canva or take a photo directly from Google and bring it into Fusion. This is super cool, but there are some gotchas and some things that are gonna waste your time. Let's look at those now. If you're using a tool like Canva, you can use this to export a file like a picture or an SVG, but I'm gonna use an SVG export. Transparent background, I'll download this and bring this right into Fusion. Now it doesn't really matter where you get this SVG, but once you have it, select it and insert it into the model. I'm gonna insert from computer, find the file, select the face or plane that you wanna put it on, and now we need to scale it and put it in the correct location. And when you bring this in, I'm going to flip the orientation to get it correct and maybe move it where I want to, and I can scale it as well. We'll click OK. We now have this model. Now here's the one challenge with bringing it in directly from Canva. I found that models straight from Canva, straight from Google, typically have a lot of curves. And if all you're gonna do is extrude this and then 3D print it, you might be fine. Now, as soon as you wanna make changes, as soon as you wanna pattern something, as soon as you add this to a complex model, you're gonna pay for it. So how do we improve this? One quick check, if we go to this three and double click, you'll notice that it gives you a count of all the curves, 42 sketch curves. So that's a lot of sketch curves for this three. I just want it to look like that general shape. I want it to be as simple as possible. If you look for convert IO SVG, it gives you an automated tool to convert your SVG. I'm gonna upload a photo. I can go over to Canva and export this as a photo. Now we'll choose the file. This PNG, I want it to become an SVG. Download it, grab that file. I'm gonna go ahead and put my plate in that I wanna put this on. It's 100 millimeters by 150. Now I'm gonna insert that new SVG that we just created. Sketch plane, I'll use the orientation to flip it around and then we'll scale it down to fit, get it to the scale I want, then maybe move it, get it located, click OK. Now let's check this thing out. If we go to the three, we used convert IO and now if I double click on this three, I have 18 sketch curves. This is a lot friendlier. That means that the entire model is simpler. Now, of course, you want to just verify that the overall look and feel is as accurate as you need. You can use a tool in Windows called Inkscape that does a really nice job. I'll try to make a separate video for that one. It's going to give you a little more control, but for an automated tool, it's pretty great and pretty quick. Hey, so I've got an SVG cheat sheet that I'll add to my full resource library. All of this is free. Click the link below. Let's say that you're working with this picture and you want to convert it. You convert it to an SVG and then you do something like pattern it a bunch of times. It's going to be extremely painful if you haven't cleaned up the sketch. Right now, anytime I try to edit this or make changes, it takes forever. This one's been cleaned up. And so if I want to pattern it now, it's going to be a lot friendlier. It may have 309 curves, but the other one is dramatically worse. And basically I can't even edit the sketch. It takes forever. Now, the other thing to be aware of when you bring in an SVG, you might try to move this thing and it doesn't move. You use the move copy, still no luck. Because this is an SVG, it auto constrained everything. Go find the SVG sketch and now select everything, go up to your constraints and choose the fix, unfix, and that should remove that fix constraint. If I hit escape a few times and now try to drag, everything's gonna start moving and now the move copy should work just fine. And here again, when I go to move this, this is where I'm gonna experience, if it's been simplified, it's gonna be so much easier to work with. Hey, so I hope this helped. I'll see you guys in the next video.